can suppose this we have the profile of the part and this to this particular part so you can say the p1 so any of the part to that there will be a different different surrounding parts okay so whenever the input is given so you can imagine somewhere here we're going to be have one another part somewhere this area then again there will be the another part in this particular area then there is another part in this particular area okay so this this kind of the condition there will be always okay so what we need to do so there will be a requirement for the gap condition okay so if someone is went for the cat test and there might be a chances you will receive here in this case the master section okay so master section one that will be a different out input they will they will give okay, they will give the master section two the different input gap condition flush condition this is master section three this we have master section four okay so these are nothing but the different different condition we have with respect to that we need to keep the gap Suppose here we have the gap of 1.5. Here we required a 2 mm gap. Here we require 2 mm gap. Here we require 1.5 mm gap. Here again we have some another lamp kind of thing. So there we required 3 mm gap plus or minus something. So here again we required 1.5 or 2 mm gap. So depending upon this is a plastic or metal, the gap condition will change. There is a rubber soft ring any any other part so depending upon this gap condition change but ultimately what we need to do we need to respect all the surrounding parts okay so this will be the another part we have p2 then again we're going to be have p3 so this is the third part then again we have this is a fourth part okay so to this p1 to p2 part number one to part number two we need to maintain gap condition and that with respect to the master section or the input we give on okay so this gap how we can maintain so simply we need to offset this surface throughout the periphery till this surface okay so this style style will be somehow more so that we need to split this particular surface in class A, okay so this is how we can make sure this we have the gap 1.5 same way here in this condition we need to offset this surface for whatever the gap they are mentioned and we can trim this glasses surface. same way here again you can check we can offset that surface and we're going to be have the gap whatever they are mentioned okay so this is how we can maintain the gap as per the given input in a master section okay these, these are uh, inputs we are given from the surrounding part so interface to interface these values will be change okay and depending upon which part is going to be assembled first and the another one with respect to that also there will be a return flange going to be get added so that's